ones that In the newsroom, the collection of old stories and notes is called The Morgue. And this Halloween, we're exhuming some of the supernatural seeming stories from our morgue. Maine's forests are vast and largely unpopulated, and we may never know everything that's in them, something the people of Durham know well. Here's Katie Bavoso. Maine is known for a wide variety of wildlife, but for about a week in July of 1973, residents of Durham reported seeing an entirely different creature, one that leading cryptozoologist Lauren Coleman has researched for decades. Nowadays, we call it the Durham Gorilla. The reports began when the Huntington children were riding their bikes by Jones Cemetery near the Durham-Brunswick line. That's when they say they saw a creature with a monkey face running through the cemetery. The children told their mother about the encounter, and the very next day, Mrs. Moetta Huntington saw the creature in the same area on the side of the road before it dashed into the woods. She, too, described an ape-like creature. It was hairy. It was bent over. It ran on four legs sometimes, got up on two legs and seemed to run along. Dozens of local and state police officers and sheriff's deputies swarmed the Durham area over the next few days as calls from frightened residents poured in. Could this be a bear? A moose? Newspaper headlines about the creature went from centerfold to front page in a matter of days. Then investigators found footprints. They weren't, you know, boots. They weren't moose tracks, they were actually ape-like tracks that had a toe out to the side. Similar footprint casts can this be seen at the International cast. Cryptozoology That's Museum in Portland. And it's very similar to the descriptions of the cast from the Durham Gorilla. But as quickly as it appeared, the ape-like creature vanished. Over the years, people have searched for the so-called Durham Gorilla. Cryptozoologist Bill Brock even moved to Maine to try and find it. Well, it was, it was, it was kind of like a gorilla, I guess. Really? Others have speculated the gorilla was just a practical jokester or even an abandoned exotic pet. But Lauren Coleman says, keep an open mind. Just because there were all of these explanations doesn't mean that anyone answers the whole mystery. Somewhere in the Maine woods, the truth might still be out there.